Hey lovely people, welcome back to the Collins channel and today we come in a different picture. The picture of, of farming, yes? Now some of you have seen me farm before I think when we were doing our mother-in-law's celebrations. Dear mother-in-law, <laughs> I do not just eat and sleep and grow big. I also dig. <laughs> today I'm going to be making land preparation for uh, Irish potato planting <laughs> and uh, I'm going to be updating you basically on what we'll be doing here yeah on how they start from day zero up to harvest so you're going to be seeing me updating you on my Irish potato portion of the garden I'll also be planting a lot more things here on this land yeah, carrots, cauliflowers, cabbages, uh, everything that is vegetable. Like we want to eat healthy and be healthy. And there is no better way than doing it yourself, being organic about everything. So let's start and see. Basically, that is what we're going to do. And we will be giving you updates. So basically, when you want to plant uh, potatoes, you need to make the soil as loose as possible. And the trick is... For tuber crops, things like uh, Irish potatoes, sweet potatoes, cassava, um, carrots, beetroots, all those ones, they don't need shallow soil. So you have to heap it up so that uh, they can have a lot of uh, depth for them to create the bigger tubers or the bigger, I don't know, I think they are bulbs or tubers, whatever they are. Yeah, so that uh, you can have big and nicely grown uh, tubers. So yeah, that is why I'm doing this, the heaping up. And I don't need to really add a lot of manure in this soil. It has been resting for now, like, uh, I think two weeks. Yeah, two weeks and a half after the first tilling. So uh, that is basically the the... the, the organic stuff that has been here has been rotting in here there are a lot of worms in here that's when you know that your soil is ready for the crops to go in so yeah that is basically what i'm doing i'm uh, breaking loose the soil for my baby potatoes so for our irish uh, planting we need uh, Okay, the seedlings basically these are what is going to act as a seedling so this is an irish potato that was basically one for cooking and it stayed for long and it started uh, bringing up those buds eh? that means it is ready now to go in the soil and if it goes in the soil it will rot and grow in the process so basically you need irish of this type eh? if you have Irish that has stayed in your store or in your pantry for a long time and it has come to this stage they are good for planting you can plant them anywhere basically where you have soil and that is what I'm going to do I have a lot of them here and I'm going to be putting them in the soil 